Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Heiko Shaves. We're still in Taiwan. We're still in a hotel room, hotel room bathroom right behind me. And uh, over the last few days, I've been thinking about the approach to testing out razors and figuring out what works for me. You guys all know I'm, I'm still pretty new to this. And I think I've made a mistake in my thinking, my approach to shaving. Instead of trying to figure out what is the maximum that my skin can tolerate, how high on a setting I can go on an adjustable razor, how aggressive of a uh, razor I can tolerate, like, you know, you name them, I should try to find out when I'm trying out a new razor, even if it's on the mild side, if the razor in question actually provides a sufficient amount of efficiency or has enough efficiency to actually provide a uh, successful shave. And uh, I think th that's going to be a, 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 a change in my approach to testing out razors now. Uh, I have a lot of new razors sitting at home that you haven't even seen. I guess you have seen them elsewhere, but not on this channel. Um, and instead of always going to find out what is the maximum that Heiko's face can tolerate, I should probably rather find out for you guys, for everyone out there, what is the minimum setting of an adjustable razor or what is the mildest stuff out there that can actually shave your face. Because here in, in Taiwan, I'm, I'm shaving daily and I don't need a super aggressive setting six or setting nine on an adjustable or a razor with this huge blade gap and huge blade exposure to make that happen. And uh, I, I think that will be a completely different approach to this. So when we get back home, I want to re try all of those adjustable razors together with you guys and then see what let's say a number one setting on a Rex Ambassador looks like or a number one on the Progress looks like. Are they going to be sufficiently, you know, uh, su efficient in those low settings to actually get a one day growth or two day growth off of your face with a, you know, like our normal shaving procedure, two pass, three pass, whatever floats your boat. and. Uh, Today we're going to do something similar. I, I mentioned before that I brought a blue tip, which is the mild one in that in that uh, trinity of razors. You know, the blue, the silver, and the red tip. And the blue tip has the smallest blade gap. But is it sufficient to actually shave that off? And you can see this is only one day. I, I shaved yesterday. Um, is this going to be good enough? Let's do it. I want to do a two pass. I don't want to irritate my skin. It's really hot in Taiwan, so I'm sweating a lot. And if you have skin irritation and then you're sweating through your pores, it actually kind of, you know, it burns. It, it feels uncomfortable. I don't want to be uncomfortable out there, but I want to look clean, shaven. So let's try if we can do that. We're going to use our folding, collapsing shaving bowl here because I really like it. It, it works really well. So let's take this carabiner off. It always dangles around. We're going to use some Parasso pre-shave. Let's put that on already. Just a little, like two index finger dabs full of pre-shave. Let that soak in. And uh, we're going to use my KIKC brush. As I mentioned, it's, it's, it's sufficiently uh, rigid, but soft enough. So it's a smaller knot. I don't know exactly what it is, the measurements. I'll put a link down below if you're interested. It's really nice and dense. It cleans up really well. The handle has a good, good texture shape to it. And it's, it gives you enough resistance so you can actually put some pressure on this thing and I don't think I've bent anything yet so this looks good 
All right, let, let's use some Prasso green shaving cream down in the bowl here, right in the middle. Probably overdoing it again, like a blob. And then I'm gonna add like a sip of water to it. Get the brush wet at the same time. So I just put a sip of water in there and my brush is wet. I'm shaking out some of the water and then we're just going to start to lather. And uh, like in previous videos, I will accelerate this process so you guys don't have to watch me stir the soap here in my bowl. It's going, it's going. All right, shut up, Heiko, and work. It doesn't take much at all. It's shiny, it's, it's fine in its texture. This is, this is all we need. I forgot to wet my face. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can still. So you can still get a shave out of it. All right, let's put the brush down, get the soap off the fingers. I have my blue tip with a um, Gillette um, Super Blue. Gillette Super Blue blade in here has been used once. All right, and let's get started. Putting it on here, a little bit of an angle. Oh. Gotta take a break. All right, short distraction here. Even though this thing is really mild. I still don't put a lot of pressure on here. Especially if you only have one day growth. So if you shave daily, what's the point of scraping it? getting your skin all irritated every single day. It should be something enjoyable, something that makes you feel smooth. And this is completely sufficient to do that. This has gotten quite a workout now. And then with, um, I find, that's of course all my personal opinion, but with a milder razor you can do a little bit more blade buffing, going over the same spot multiple times without getting any irritation out of it. And on this thing, they got it right. I, I can feel the blade, I can feel the engagement
as you can see I'm still doing the sole patch down here so I'm going with the grain with the grain that usually stops here and then with the grain is up the hill down this, the bottom section here um, yeah very good let's do a quick rinse That, this is already good enough that you could, in a pinch, run out the building and be sufficiently clean. So let's grab a little bit extra water and stir up our nice Prasso green lather here. Face is also wet now <laughs> for the second pass. There is a lot of lather here to to be had and quick with this with this collapsible shaving ball from sterling soap for six dollars i say it again six dollars with those fingers sticking up at the bottom they help tremendously in uh, whipping up and stirring up the soap turning it into whipped cream consistency. All right, this is very sufficient. So much so. All right, let's do a cross pass. Uh-huh right all the way under the nose so we don't need to worry about it anymore And with a, with a milder razor, I'm also a little bit more uh, willing to take risks in shaving direction here on my neck. So now I can actually kind of go against the grain a little bit. Very nice. And now I'm stretching. Uh huh. So the other side. I really do like the Parasso shaving cream out of the tube. Doesn't get too thick, doesn't get too tacky. Fine texture, it, it lasts, it doesn't collapse. Yeah, this is beautiful. This works. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're going to do the half pass down here 
just with the grain one more time for that one or two little stubbles that I might, might have missed. A, com a, a quick inspection here on my face. Yeah, up here, this is perfect. Nothing else needs to be done. Down here, like I said, I'm always very careful in this section here to not get too irritated. And with a mild razor, there is not much risk of that. So let's rinse off cold. So the new approach is going to be how mild can we go to still get a sufficient clean shave out of it. That's what we're going to do from now on. And from that perspective, I will be looking at all those razors that I've already shaved with. Um, Rex Ambassador, The Progress, there are a tons of razors sitting at home. So it's going to be an epic journey for all of us and you guys keep the comments coming keep the advice coming product suggestions blade suggestions or razors even if you guys are fellow shave youtubers maybe we can even start a little bit of a uh, exchange so we don't always have to buy everything that we uh, want to review so we can help each other out Think about it. If you like that idea, get in touch with me. There's an email address in the about section. Um, but yeah, let's look at razors from this completely different perspective and find out what is really necessary to make a smooth shave possible. Um, how crazy do you have to go? Uh, what's the most aggressive razor that everyone was always talking about? Is it the Müller R41? which is, uh, you know, kind of a challenge for the real man. I, yeah, I, I don't think this is ever going to be on the channel because I'm already afraid of it just hearing about this razor. But a lot of people, they, they like it. They have strong skin. They have really coarse beard. They might need it. But we're going to go for the hunt of the smooth, gentle shave without irritation and try to accomplish that with every razor that we test out. Alrighty guys, that is probably going to be the last shaving video coming from Taiwan. Uh, today's the 22nd, we're flying home on the 29th, so we still have some time, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm also running out of material, so the three razors that we have shaved with here so far are the Edwin Jagger clone the Bladger, and then my little 1966 Tech Travel or Travel Tech with a short stubby handle, and uh, the Blue Tip. You guys let me know if you wanna see something particular again, if you wanna see uh, another attempt, or if you have any other ideas, just let me know down in the comments. I really love those comments. Uh, of you guys it feels like a community exchange of ideas and, and product uh, recommendations so keep them coming and uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like take care bye